All right, guys, we're going to talk today a little bit about using the dog to try to deal with dog aggression. I've been getting so many calls and messages and emails, you guys, from people that have dogs that are fighting. And, I mean, it's, it's a problem when you have to bring the dog to the vet and costly vet bills. And, I mean, the lady called me yesterday. Both her and her husband had been to the hospital because of these dogs fighting. So, you know, obviously that's a big problem. And, and you can definitely, I mean, use the dog to, I don't know of any other way to control those kind of behaviors because you know you can't be everywhere at once and we're really using the dog to change the bigger picture of the dog but the most important thing to remember you guys is if we have a dog that has aggression issues we have to collar condition the dog first for the three basic behaviors and a lot of times I mean these dogs that we get in you know we'll call her condition for the coming and then we do have to do some punishment for the you know dog aggressive behavior when they get here but for the most part you should only call her condition them first you should have them at least call her condition for the coming before you attempted anything and we're just going to give you guys a few little tips on what to do today so you're going to start out on the leash and especially if you have two dogs that fight the best way, and if you've got a dog that does a lot of posturing, because that's what we're going to talk about today is, you guys, is when they do the posturing, that's when you need to intervene with the collar to be able to get the dog to go down or move away from the dog that it's posturing at. So that's where your skill as a trainer has to come in. If the slightest posturing, then you've got to do something. And this dog is really easy to read. I mean, we call him the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, because he's got the sweet, sad puppy face and then he's got the total posturing behavior so again it's not something they're consciously doing but they're you know they're they're compelled to do it so you can use the dog to interrupt that thought process so we do have the sound box collar on today and, and it's going to vary a lot what you may have to do you guys i mean if, you, if you've got a pit that, that's dog aggressive I, I will tell you one of these 200 golds is not enough collar for you it wouldn't i mean it, it would be nothing so for the majority of dogs, 95% of dogs, you're going to be fine working, you know, import shepherds and stuff. You may need something, you may need something a little bit stronger. But it's more that you're going to, you're going to use the collar to intervene when the dog starts posturing. And then that will diffuse the situation. That will disarm the dog and it will make it not appear as a threat to the person, I mean to the dog that it's, you know, posturing towards it. Really, for people, aggressive dogs, the same thing. You would do the same thing. You would make the dog down with the collar. So remember that shorter chirping sound is the nick, and the longer buzzing sound is the pager. And I know you guys, we've been getting a lot of complaints about that buzzing sound. So we're trying to get Dogtra to develop a new sound box that has a, you know, a better sound. But you know, then when I also get these nuts emailing me, oh, that think that we're, you know, the the buzzer's right on the collar, and we're, you know, blasting the dog's ear as a way to train it real geniuses okay so what we're gonna do is we've got paper in the cage paper is an intact male and so this dog is neutered he's eight years old but you know if, if they're gonna posture that's when they're gonna do it so I'm gonna be ready so he's already doing the posturing so really you guys you wouldn't let it go you know at home any farther than you would get the dog to down immediately i'm just going to kind of show you you know he's really all through see how soon as that dog got up he did it even more Posturing, 
And if you've got two of them, the best way is to really put one in the cage. I mean, you see paper really does nothing. I'm going to let him out here in a second. But if you had two of them that had already been fighting, you would have to use the collar to make them down, you know, when it was in a controlled environment like that, you guys, so they didn't have me cause any more costly trouble. All through. Okay, that's today's lesson.